this, okay? And we use the same pattern. We're creating um, basically a seating for seating for the neurodiverse community that's going into the Chestnut 1101 hospital building. And um, it's really meant to be a chair that provides privacy to people that are overstimulated, um, which is really typical for people that have autism or are neurodiverse. And it's really important that we make a space for these people because in typical seating, um, it's very open and we don't have these private places that cater to their needs. So I think the ultimate goal is, of course, to first um, cater to the needs of the neurodiverse community and primarily that will be done in this new healthcare pavilion that Jefferson is putting up. We want it to be able to be expanded into potentially uh, other environments such as uh, education and we've sort of realized throughout our research that a lot of the uh, properties of the seating that we've designed um, are things that are not only helpful to people in the neurodiverse community but anyone who might be uh, undergoing stress and so it's something that everyone can use and enjoy and not feel uh, othered while using. Dr. Wendy Ross um, approached the, the ID department about working on this, this seating project and I then got to meet her and, and really find out more about the neurodiverse community and how their needs at, at the present time are not really being addressed in healthcare in, in many ways on many levels. So that was really how the project started with a, a conversation, a dialogue between us about how seating could better address the needs of that community. When we think about what it takes to belong, we think about our environment and how it fits with the individual. And one of the great things about Jefferson is that there's so much amazing and passionate talent we are working on a chair that will accommodate those with neurodiversity as well as everyone. So this chair will be designed for those with neurodiversity, those who have issues with being overwhelmed in sensory environments, but it will benefit anyone who needs a moment of respite in a crowded or overwhelming or stressful space. I would love to have um just to create a more inclusive environment at the end of this. Like this is a very, um, you know, interesting project to think about from just the perspective of universal design. And it's, you know, thinking about not just the typical ev everyday person, but really considering like other people that don't fit into specific molds, like whether it be bariatric or, you know, it, it could include people that are just, you know, elderly or people that, um, say for example, are nursing and need privacy. Everyone benefits from it. And I think that's really, you know, important to think about. I think it's really critical that when we think about diversity, inclusion, and equity, that we consider the population affected by disabilities. And neurodiversity, we think that everyone matters. Everyone belongs in a seat at the table. And we're gonna work on designing that seat now.